Hey, what up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shiva Benson, and today we're going to talk about new products that I bought. As you can see, we have some Cena Steel um, for the chemicals, you know, storage chemicals, and you reuse them. Pretty simple. They're kind of quite affordable. They're like 10 bucks. Nothing crazy. Again, I like this. You know, I can expand them, shrink them, and they don't take a lot of space. So that's great. Let's put that out of the way because, I mean, they're not super exciting. They're just super convenient and kind of cheap. So go to the website, Cine Steel. But the one product that I'm really intrigued and interested in is this um, black and white monobat. Probably, if you dig around the internet, you already saw this pr uh, product coming up. Um, I saw it and it was really interesting. Um, but I never had the chance to try it until now. And the whole idea of just using one chemical to do the whole process in three minutes um, seems almost like um, fake or something like that, you know, like one of those products as seen on TV or something like that. As you know, if you're not aware, doing um, <sighs> developing film, it takes some time, it takes certain steps that you need to follow the same exact way. And, and I mean, nothing wrong with that. But, so we have an option like this one where it's affordable, it's just one chemical, and make your life easier, especially if you have family, kids, and other stuff to do besides, you know, photography. I think it's wonderful. Why not to try, right? I'm not somebody that, like, closes his mind, like, no, this is the only way I'm going to do stuff. So, again, Motobath, Steel DF96. Uh, I'm showing you right now, but you know, hold on. I know it's gonna be a little long video. I'm gonna try not to extend it too much. But I'm gonna go through the whole process, mixing the chemicals, and then developing some film that I've been holding. But that's the video I'm about today. This chemical in particular, this purchase, see if 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 sort of you know mix really well on my uh, process through. And if it works, I'm gonna just keep buying it. Why not? Um, this is um, just the powder, so I need to do the mixing, and I think it cost me like 16 bucks plus shipping, something around 20 or 22 bucks. And my opinion is not that expensive, but you know, it will depend if it works and for me and the developing. There's also they have another, um, the same product I already mixes, it's just like a gallon, a liter, a gallon, not a gallon, a liter you know with the plastic is like a jug and uh, it's already mixing and everything you can buy it like that that's 20 bucks so four dollars extra depending on what you're looking for or what you're trying to do maybe that works better for me for me powder is fine i don't see any, any trouble i already um develop uh, color film which you need to mix into they send you the powders you do the mix and everything so it's not it's not weird to me to do this but there you go so 16 for the powder 20 for the the um mixed pre-mixed version i guess or like the go to or to um ready to develop and, um and those two like the other one is the convenience you can carry it you already have a recipient where you're gonna hold it and uh well it's convenience but again that's the reason i bought a few of these one is going to be for this, just my black and white one um, motobat. And these ones, um, these ones are for color developer in the, the Blakes, I think. Because the the final step in color is the uh, fixer, which, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the fixer. And that one is fine because it doesn't matter the temperature, that's the only reason. But anyways, um, so I'm going to develop some rows of films that I've been wanting to because I recently went to this event, the film, the film photography Paidia in Sacramento. And just to give you a really summarize, I want to do, do some video and do some BTS kind of sort of thing of the event. But unfortunately, you get too excited. You know, these kind of events, there are not a lot around, at least in my area where you gather, gather a lot of film photographers and just, you know, for a weekend, <clears throat> a lot of speakers and their experiences with film. And just that, just have that more, um, I guess, humanized interaction besides, you know, videos and social media with 
they're great, don't get me wrong, um, but you don't have that one-on-one -on -one interaction, talk for a couple of minutes, uh, you know, it's, it's, I guess I feel it's better or like more fulfilling at least to me than texting immediate and doing other stuff. Anyways, this was great and there were a lot of awesome speakers and also people that, that um, I follow on YouTube and that I like their work like Matt, Day, and also King J. Pavis, I think. Hopefully I'm not pronouncing it wrong. And I mean, not everything was YouTubers. There were other... Um, Film photographers also, let me just, um, sorry, I'm bad with names. My Padua was there, shout outs to him, I meet him. Um, Timothy Distler, Mike Brain, Matt Marish, um, Megan Barrett, there's a ton of awesome people. Take was there, Take too, Bika Taco. Um, it was just awesome, it was just awesome to see all these different people talking about their passion and also the type of photography that will do one that caught my attention was Megan that she does a lot of underwater photography film photography it's awesome the way that she captures it's not like you know a nature like you know kind of boring frame and stuff she does a lot of artistic and composition wise playing with lighting underwater with the you know, seals and stuff it's just awesome you can uh, find her on Instagram Megan shoots film I think is her name or Instagram um, yeah, it was awesome. Just that I was sharing some of this. If you find an event kind of like this around your area, I highly recommend that you do that. Um, it's a great way to, you know, contact or be in contact with people around you in the film community. But that's it. So let's jump to pouring this, mix it, and develop and see the results. So let's go. All right, guys. <clears throat> so we're going to use a brand new Cine Steel bottle to put the um, developer, the Monopad DF96. Um, it's for one liter, so you don't need to do this, but I have this measurement to exactly pour one liter in that recipient. Again, you don't need to do this, it's just me. I like to follow instructions as much as you can. Not always, but especially for this, I don't want to screw it up, so. It's to pour 500 milliliters. And um, so I can agitate better the chemicals once they're inside. All right, so let's keep doing this. You guys already pour the 500 milliliters this. So, to make it easy for me, I'm going to use a funnel, part A, pour 500 milliliters of hot water, and then we mix. So again, pour our new powder chemical, and again, it's, let's make it cleaner, dissolve faster. Again, um, part B, it recommends that you stir while you're doing this, uh, just find it easy. Just, you mix in the bottle after you pour both, probably it's a good idea that you do a few more um, mix. Or, so anyways, I'm gonna cut this because I need to dissolve these crystals. I'm done <clears throat> pouring the whole liter. And I just, as a side thing, I wanna show you guys something cool that I like about this um, jugs, I guess. Is it still like this much to fill it up? And you know, you don't want a lot of oxygen in your chemicals because the oxidation is faster. So, one thing that you can do is you push this down almost the water to the tip, you seal, and then there you go. You don't have as much um, air inside that contributes to the oxidation of the chemicals. So these are cool, 10 bucks, you should consider them, seen a steal. I mean, it's not like, I'm not being paid for all this. I, I pay for them with my own money, but um, you should, you know, go and check them out. All right, guys, so the temperature, it's on the spot, 80 degrees, just like the manual suggests, or like the little PDF they send you. Uh, maybe you can see it right there. 
for a minute so let's pour this chemical again it's already on on the temperature that it's supposed to be this go 10 seconds or so one side and then we change to the other side all right we're done we're gonna put the chemical back temper room temperature so we have I have this little squeaky thing here nothing fancy find an Amazon for like three bucks it worked real well seems pretty clear to me a little bit probably had it leave it a tiny bit longer but it's not like the biggest deal ever at least for me I need to still scan and see you and show you the results all right guys sorry for the shakiness but let's just check real fast uh, the final results these are some of the pictures that I took and I developed and honestly I'm really surprised by the result they work really great um, you know nothing wrong happened it looks like it's supposed to look on my experience at least <clears throat> and so far again it was so great three minutes you set the temperature and um, it works it works really well no complain about it um, I probably will need to experiment a little bit more with the times and the type of film but again overall it's just awesome it's awesome it's so convenient I don't see any negative at all and it's sort of a cheap you know I mean budget developing I think for my other chemical the ill4 that's like um, what's it called like the bottles with the liquid um, to mix with water um, they're more pricey definitely I mean nothing bad against them they work for sure it's just this is way more convenient price wise time wise you know you can call me lazy I guess if you want but in my books whatever makes my life easier like why not so do I recommend that sure um, again but I need to do more experimentation with this and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna show you more results and other type of films you know there was this was Akva uh, APX 400 mm. but you know there's so many black and white film out there that I need to experience and see what's going on there you go guys some of the results some of the process of these new product that I bought for my film journey if you have more questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I will gladly help you out with that. But, um, yeah, that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, until the next one, I guess. See ya and uh, adios.